Hi and welcome to this video about how Toyota's founder makes decisions. Now we're going to talk about Saatchi Toyota, one of the most inventive minds when it came to the uh, automobile making process. Now Saatchi was famous for his ability to look at problems from a completely different angle than most other people. Now I find this to be an incredibly useful tool because you can take this pretty much anywhere and you can use this when you're making decisions for yourself or when you're asking your employees, partners, or prospective clients exactly what they want to do and why they're making that decision for themselves. Now, Saatchi used one specific method, which was the five whys. So any single time he'd come to a problem where he'd make a mistake or he had a decision to make, he'd ask himself why in terms of which choice he was going to make. So let's use an example. An example would be, my car broke down. Well, why did my car break down? My car broke down because I had bad spark plugs. Well, why did I have bad spark plugs? I had bad spark plugs because I ignored getting a tune-up. Well, why didn't I get a tune-up? Well, that was because I was playing too much Grand Theft Auto, well, why was I playing too much Grand Theft Auto? I don't have any friends and I only relate to people in the game. So now you figured out that your car broke down because you were neglecting your spark plugs and getting a tune-up because you were spending too much time playing Grand Theft Auto because what it actually is is you're a psychopath. Now, this is not necessarily a realistic answer, but it's a way that you can use the five whys to be able to get to the root cause of what the problem actually is. And this is why it's so important that you use this method when you're out, especially if you're making decisions as an entrepreneur, you're talking to prospects or clients, or you're talking to someone who's your employee you know, on your team. You really want to use the five whys because it's easy to go anywhere and remember this. It's so much easier than trying to think about all these different methods of the pros and the cons and all these different things and the long-term outcomes. If you think about the why, it's really going to help you make a decision a little bit more quickly. And as soon as you can internalize this, you're going to understand how easy it is to be able to see the outcome and the possible consequences of any decision that you're going to make. So all you got to do is ask why five times. Now, if you want to make sure that you get some help on specifically how to make these decisions, I already encourage you, and I really, really do, to check out that book, Winning Decisions, How to Get It Right the First Time. It's one of my personal favorites, and I keep it in my business library, so I make sure to reread it every three or four months. Now, there's going to be a link specifically in the show notes to this, and also in the email that you received. Now, if you want any help specifically looking for another book, you can always contact me at dustin at collegegradlife.com. Now, I'll talk to you soon, and look out for that next lesson.